Uh, good afternoon, it's Oliver here from Love M44 and I've got another special guest with me today. It's uh, Julia and Julia is joining me from the Willow Foundation. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the Willow Foundation to start with for people that have never heard of it? Okay, the Willow Foundation was set up by Bob and Megs Wilson. Bob was an ex-Arsenal footballer and it was set up in memory of their daughter okay. who died at age 31 right. of cancer. And what they found was special days, special events, things to look forward to, kept her morale going. Okay. Um, and Anna, when she died, asked them to use what they'd learned and that also set up the Willow Foundation. Okay, that's great. Well, obviously it's a great thing. So um, we've had a chat beforehand and, and obviously it's not just to do with cancer this because I do support other people as well, but obviously people have got terminal cancer, things like that. This is a foundation that really helps them. Uh -huh. It's age 16 to 40. Um, it's the only charity that caters with that age group. And as you say, it isn't just cancer, it's any life-limiting illness. Okay. Cystic fibrosis, anything really uh, that affects their life expectancy. Okay. And it's just to give them the same sort of thing that, that their daughter found useful and that was something to look forward to, something to plan for. Mm. So um, you're, a, you're a local person, you live in Earlham, you've lived in Earlham all your life. I have, yeah. Um, so if you don't mind me asking, what's given you the drive to, to do this for the, for the Willow Foundation? My daughter was diagnosed with cancer uh, approximately 15 years ago. Right. Um, during her treatment, uh, the hospital social worker told her about the Willow Foundation and she had, with her then partner, a weekend um, in Edinburgh, they went to the military tattoo. So just, just to cut back in, um, so um, your daughter went, uh, they, the, the Willow Foundation took her away to Edinburgh. They took her away to Edinburgh for the weekend, she went to the military tattoo with her partner. Okay. They had a great weekend, but there was attention to detail and they had um, phone numbers that they could contact people over the weekend should they have encounter any problems. Um, they were, just, just, they were just supportive. Just very, very supportive. So if there was any problems overnight, they had someone to call if yeah. they needed to cancel because yeah. they were poorly, yeah. then they wouldn't like uh, lose money or anything no, like that. That's you right. done a normal. Everything could be rearranged. So it's just peace of mind and making it easy for, for these people that are in a yeah. oh, very unfortunate. And I'm very obviously sorry to hear about your daughter. Um, so um, obviously you're carrying on this legacy for her, which is very, yeah. very kind of you. Um, so, um, I believe you do something once a year in regards to the Willow Foundation. You're a Willow champion now. I am a Willow and champion. And what event have you got coming up? Um, we've got a race night in October. Okay. We have this annually round about Lisa's birthday. Um, and it's always successful. It's friends, family, but it's everybody else as well. Okay. Um, and we just try and raise as much money as we can then for the Willow okay. Foundation. And is that being held locally? It's at the Steelworks Club. Oh, excellent. So Steelworks on Liverpool Road. And uh, so what's the exact date? Is it... It's on the 12th of October. So 12th of October. Um, and do you have time? Uh, 7.30 and usually start 7 around. 7.30ish. First you get there a bit early. Um, and it's obviously it's an enjoyable night and um, is all money raised then passed on to the Willow Foundation? Everything goes on to the Willow Foundation. Okay, well that sounds fantastic. Now if you want to donate to the Willow Foundation, there will be a link in the description above. Um, we'll be very, very happy to uh, take your donations. Um, and is there any else, anything else you want to get out in regards to Willow Foundations? Maybe try and connect with other businesses or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, I'm open to local businesses contacting me to go in to talk about the Willow Foundation. Yeah. Especially, you know, with their sort of workforces sort of between yeah. like the ages of 60 and 40 and just okay. make awareness really of the Willow Foundation. Okay, so um, spread the word. Please share this video. Please invite your friends. Please like it. Uh, and if you have got a business and would like some more information about the Willow Foundation, please feel free to get in touch with myself uh, or Julia. Um, I'll put a link on for that as well, but I would happily pass the details on. Um, and if there's anything else, is, is there anything else you would like to put uh, across? Or have I covered everything for you? I think we've covered we've everything. We've covered everything. Thank well, you. It, thank you very much for coming in. Oh, well, thank you. Um, and thank you for all the work you do for the Foundation. It's, it's very noble of you. Um, and that completes uh, the interview this afternoon. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to love M44.